www.mathbyfives.com. Oh, I love this guy. It appears here we're going to be solving linear differential equations with not real roots, non-real roots, complex roots. Yes, we're going to consider the nth order homogeneous linear differential equation um, with constant coefficients. All of these seem to be starting out so the same, but here the roots are a plus bi and a minus bi. Yeah, those are um, roots of the characteristic equation. Well, what's going to happen with these guys? In this case, e to the real part x times c1 sine imaginary part x plus c2 cosine imaginary part x are solutions. And further, if those roots do repeat, then I'm going to have my constants as a multiple of the different powers of x in front of my sine and in front of my cosine, where e is still raised to the real part and the sine of the imaginary part of x. Now, yeah, it's all going to work out like that, and that's how we're going to get our k independent solutions. But now I suppose you want to see an example of these complex eigenvalues or roots. Sure, let's go. Mm -hmm. Wow, operator notation. All right, fine. Operator notation, constant coefficients, factorable, and here we go. This is going to be, wait for it, factors of 5 that's had to be 4. Well, that doesn't factor, but this does have characteristic equation r squared minus 4r plus 5 is equal to 0. Oh, but it doesn't factor, so we can go all quadratic on it. R is equal to minus b plus and minus square root r squared minus 4, 1, 5, all over 2a or 1. Okay. Um, where's that song coming from? Check out the quadratic formula song. Swear you're gonna laugh. It's even in Spanish. Okay, um, um, so then r is gonna be 4 plus and minus, wait for it, 16 minus 20 is minus 4, so this is gonna be, ooh, is it 4i? Would you call me? No. 16 minus 4 is 4, square root of 4 is 2. i, 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 da na, da na, over 2. Ooh, is that right? Mm, um, um, um. Yes. So then r is equal to 2 plus and minus i, 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 dun -dun, dun -dun. where this is the real part, a, and this is the imaginary part, b. So here we see our a is going to be 2, and our b is going to be, is it i? No, it's the number in front of the imaginary part, or 1. So we do see two solutions, the plus case and the minus case, both happening by using the sine and the cosine. So our general solution y is equal to, wait for it, e to the real part, 2x. And then inside here, I'm going to have my constant, k1. Now, if this had been a repeated root, this would have been k1 plus x, or k1 plus k2x, and so on, but it was only happened one time. So this is k1 sine of the imaginary part 1x plus k2. Remember, if they were repeated roots, then this would be k1 plus k2x, and this would be k3 plus k4x. Okay, but this is k2 um, cosine x, where I would have that 1 in front from my imaginary part. Clean it up without that nonsensical. Mm -hmm. e to the 2x, and then k1 sine x plus k2 cosine x. Man, I wish I could draw a cheetah. Yeah, because that one was quick. No, um, a turtle? No, what would the pun in that be? Ooh, I know. I was trying to draw a tiger, Tony the Tiger, because that last one was great. Or maybe I'm a lion. Studying. 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 Studying.